A very nice money board. What's up, guys? Bring you another coin game today. First video of the day versus a very decent opponent, a good friend of mine. I met him. His name is Grant. Well, we've been playing 2K together, and he's always hit me up to play a wager match. But before I was kind of, I was kind of in a, in a slump. <laughs> you guys see my latest videos. I was losing a lot. So people that I sh maybe shouldn't have been losing to, just my opinion. But anyways, we're starting out right here. I get the ball first, and like always, I always seem to get the ball first. Right now, I'm just trying to get the running game going. Yeah, he's a 91 overall, so I know, I definitely know his team is pretty decent. So I'm not going to uh, try to just do anything to him because this is a wager max. I want to be able to to play smart and try to get um, the, try to get my running game established. Just try to hit him with a screen. I, I accidentally spin right there. Don't really pick up too many yards. 39 already. And right now, I have nobody open. But I see my receiver coming across the middle. So I'm going to hit my tight end, Jordan Cameron, for the first down. That was about exactly 11 or 10 yards right there. And right now, I'm using Le'Veon Bell and Reggie Bush as my 1-2 punch. And I noticed last time when I ran the screen, he wasn't really playing it too well. So I'm going to go right back to it until he starts making adjustments or reading that. Hit Josh Gore right over the middle. Now, probably should have been the first down if he hit stick me, but he got the K animation and basically carried me to the first down. So I appreciate that. We are moving the ball fairly well. Julio drops the curl right there. It's almost the end of the first quarter, and we're almost in a, a scoring range in about five minutes. So I'm doing a real, god, real good job of eating up the clock, keeping him away from the ball while being able to, to get myself in the end zone. Now this is Andrew Luck. Where are you throwing the ball? Like my receiver isn't 12 feet tall. So unfortunately I'm going to have to settle for a field goal right there. Now we're giving him the ball. And he has this uh, this team of the week, Tony Romo. And he's looking to make a uh, outside read. And that's a bad read by him. Khalil Mack gets the interception. And I guys, I lied to you not. This Khalil, his, this Khalil Mack is a dog. He's a straight beast on the def on the, uh, defensive side of the ball. It gives me the ball back in good field position with two minutes left on the clock. So I'm just going to try to get an end zone as quick as possible. Maybe take off some time on the clock. I didn't really think about trying to get him to waste his timeout. As he calls a timeout right there. And we get an end zone. And put us up 10-0. Now he has the ball once again. And he's getting the ball back at the beginning of the second half. Right there we hit stick Gronk with Troy Palomalu. Injure him. Get that off the field. Uh, right now he's testing us deep and Kamardi is not with it. He gets the interception, we try to return it, try to make something out of nothing and we get to about the 20 to 20 yard line. Basically the same as a touchback, just a little more exciting. Right now I got B wide open across the middle and I'm just trying to get in field goal range, trying to get some more points on the board. Points is always nice to, to get in coin games and as much, as much time as you keep the ball out of your opponent's hands, you are in pretty good shape. In coin games, mostly all the people who play coin games, they all know how to how to play the game. They all know how to push buttons. So if you can have extra possessions in your favor, then most likely you will win the game. Now I'm not going to say that everybody who plays coin games is good because obviously everybody isn't. Right there, we send a little blitz. Vince Wilfork was kind of free, and only if Torkin came two seconds down, or that would have been an interception. Right now, he's using this Tony Romo, he scrambles, I wish he could have fumbled that ball and give me that ball. And he's, he's, he's basically got me up right now, so we need to make some adjustments. I'm up 13 to 0 right now, and I would like to keep it at, keep it at that way. But we're going to try our best to see if we can not get him in zone. Earl Thomas drops an interception. Unfortunately, it seems like all my players drop interceptions, I cannot stand it. And Tony Romo, just like uh, Andrew Luck earlier, makes a horrible uh, pass like his guy was 100 feet tall. Right here he goes deep, almost catches that over Camardi. And right now I send a little B gap. And he, he tries to go for a 4th and 10. I think that was Calvin Johnson. And I would start spamming the right bumper so he, can keep, so he can drop that ball. Right now we got Le'Veon Bell hitting the outside. Hey, this Le'Veon Bell, he, he is... I love this car. Only if he was a little bit faster, 95 speed, 94 speed, definitely make him a much better player. Right through, try to hit the read option. It goes nowhere. So going back to the counter, he gets a crazy suction tackle by JJ Swat. Right now, he leaves him my AY open. 39. I'm converting a lot of third down conversions. 
and the score is gonna be 20 to zero. And basically after this, he uh, gets the ball back and throws another interception. And that's pretty much the game. He basically quits. But Grant is definitely a good opponent. We will probably play again in other times. See, I know he upgraded his team after this game, so I'm sure next game will be an even better one. Hey, skip fucking battle.